Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your 20th tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra Playlist. In this tutorial I'm going to explain a couple more algebraic properties. And uh, at first these two properties are going to seem a little bit useless when I show them to you. But I'm going to give you an example of how we can use these two properties to our advantage. So the first property basically says if we have some number a and we add zero to that number, then we still have the number a. We had something, we added nothing to it, we still have the same amount. So the second property, if we have some number b, we'll call it, and we subtract or basically add a negative b, then that equals zero. So this is adding a negative b is really the same thing as subtracting a b. So really this is the same thing as b minus b equals zero. So this is the addition property of zero up here, and this is the additive inverse property right here. So I'm going to use these two properties together to show you how we can take an expression and write it in a different form. So let's say that we have something that looks like this. We have a, and that's divided by a minus b. And we just want to write this in a different form. Well, we can do that by using these two properties right here. So the first step is I'm going to use the addition property of zero. And so we have a plus zero. And by this property, this is still equal to a, so I didn't change the top. And we're dividing that by the same thing on the bottom. And now we're going to use the additive inverse property. And so basically this zero is the same thing as b minus b. So we're going to write that as a plus, and then our zero is going to be b minus b and that's still all divided by a minus b. So it's starting to look a little bit different. So now by, by the commutative property of addition, I'm going to change the order of these two terms, and I can do this by the commutative property of addition. So a minus b plus b divided by a minus b, and what we can do with something like this is we can separate the terms on top and place them over the same common denominator. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to choose to leave the a minus b together and that's going to be over a minus b and I'm going to add that to the b divided by a minus b. So now we have something divided by itself and anything divided by itself equals 1 and then we add that to the second term, which is b divided by a minus b. So by using the addition property of zero and the additive inverse property, we were able to take an expression that looks like this, a divided by a minus b, and rewrite it in a different looking form. So basically by using these two properties and then just splitting up the numerators over top of the same common denominator here, we were able to show that a divided by a minus b is exactly the same thing as 1 plus b divided by a minus b. So anyway, that's how you can uh, use these two properties to your advantage. And so hopefully you can see now why I took the time to point these out to you. So anyway, stay tuned for uh, some more tutorials in uh, the Intermediate Algebra playlist. You guys have a great day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.